Hello YouTube friends, Van Ochart here. How you doing? You know, I've been having a little bit of a rough go. A little bit of a rough go in my, uh, in my fish room. Just want to give you a quick update, let you know what's going on here from beautiful, uh, beautiful Nashville. Just a few days ago, we were covered in snow. I'm walking around now in a t-shirt. Let's go into the fish room through the side door. And I'm gonna, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This fish right here, Eureka Red Jake, is a killer. Beautiful fish. He's a beautiful fish, but he's killed off three of my fish, three of my African cichlids. And he has two of them currently in quarantine, recovering from the, from the stress of the beating. You have a deep water in there and a Z-Rock. The rest of these fish, now that I've isolated the killer after hours of watching the tank in the dark, trying to isolate who was killing the fish when nobody was looking, now the fish are all coming out and uh, swimming around more as opposed to being corralled and all stuck here in the plants hiding trying to stay off the radar of this uh, of this Eureka Red Jake. So everyone's a little happier, everyone's a little less stressed. I was talking to James Largo about it over at the Cichlid Shack. He suspects I might have a female, possibly this uh, Borlei here might be a female, which is contributing to the uh, chaos. But there's definitely been a change since I put this one in isolation. And am I, am I going to return him to the tank? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I don't see it happening. Good news is the fish in the other tanks are doing great. Red spotted Severum, looking good. Kind of hanging out and chilling. Doesn't like it when I put on the lights. And uh, the Geos and the AC Heckleys are back here. They usually hang out under the wood. But I do have some good news. The good news is that I finally uh, received my tank from uh, Glass Cages here in, uh, in Nashville. This tank is roughly about 90 gallons, custom built to fit on top of this piece of furniture right here, this stand. It's going to sit right on top of there. There's going to be a pad, and then under, you know, after we put the pad down, then we'll go ahead and get this thing lifted. It probably weighs between 250 and 300 pounds. It's a three-quarter inch glass. The front panel is uh, is low iron, so we'll have low iron glass on the front panel. And I'm not sure if I'm going to black black out the back yet, but you can see it's a very nice tank. Good size, pretty pretty tall actually. It's gonna be uh, pretty tall once it's sitting up on top of that stand, that's for sure. It's gonna be pretty high up. And uh, it's got a special kind of bracing on the inside. You can see it's got a glass brace at the bottom. It's a glass brace that goes all the way, all the way around. Little specks that you see around the floor of the garage. So this is a little bit of good news. Finally got this tank. What do you think I should do with it? I know, put fish in it, put water in it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> what kind of fish? You think I should put, make this uh, African cichlids? African cichlid tank, South American tank? Maybe finally get into discus? Maybe make it a big planted tank? What do you think? A lot of potential there. So right here is, is uh, it'll go right up, right up on that stand, and then, uh, then closer in, like where this tank is right now, that's where I'll put the 220, and, uh, and maybe a couple 120, uh, 125s will then be on this side. Here's where I do my live streams from right here. A little behind the scenes look. But then I'll probably put a couple, uh, 
maybe along along in here, right right along this edge in here, I'll probably put the uh, a couple 125s. So that's Gil right there. You remember Gil? That's Gil from uh, Adam over in Arcadia, California. Beware of cichlids, my friends. Okay, so that's the update, the uh, good and the bad of the update. You know, I'm pretty excited about this tank. I'm also excited to get over the hump with these African cichlids. Now that I've figured out who the killer, killer is, uh, get that tank smoothed out. I'm gonna be getting some more fish from uh, the cichlid shack and uh, perhaps with greater numbers, I can reduce the, uh, the aggression. I'm gonna be moving the, uh, the fish that I picked up, the South Americans, here I'll show you real quick. The uh, Starry Night, you can see here, beautiful fish. And uh, a couple of viejas, a couple of red shoulder severums. I'm gonna put those in the 55, see how they do. They're, they're pretty much done with quarantine. But you can see the viejas there, very pretty. And uh, that's Starry Night though, boy, that's a pretty fish. So that's the update. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. I'll give you some more details about what's going on, what the progress has been like. Probably show you those, uh, those South American fish, the viejas and the red shoulders in the tank behind me. Let you know, let you see how they actually acclimated. All right, thank you for tuning in for this update and uh, see you on Saturday. Bye-bye.